another run-in with the Thieves' Guild. Be careful, you. The Thieves' Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. One snap of her fingers and you could end up in Riften Jail. Worse. To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rabble. What do you think? You know, I'm beginning to respect you. Other than Eren, you seem to be the only other person I've met I might be able to trust. Since we share the same opinion of them, let me warn you that they're recruiting others to join their guild, and you should be cautious. Maven Blackbriar, the matriarch of the family, represents everything that's wrong with this city. She's bribed countless officials, has friends back in the Imperial City, and freely associates with the Thieves' Guild. I've tried everything I can to protect Riften citizens from her family, but to no avail. Well, there is Ingwen Blackbriar, Maven's daughter. Strange girl. She likes to spend time down in Elgrim's Elixirs working on her alchemy. Then you have Hemming, Maven's son. Spoiled brat and heir to her empire. He follows her word like a loyal dog follows its master. And finally, Sibi. The worst of all of them. He's in Riften jail for murder. I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman, barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Vellenwood, elsewhere to Morrowind, and all points in between. Many years ago, I lost my blade, Grim Sever, within a Dwemer ruin. I took it as a sign that I was wasting my days in search of wealth. You and I are alike. We seek challenge and great fortune. But for me, that's where the similarities end. You see, Riften is my great beast to be slain, and my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. It's been difficult. I've taken the burdens of this city's problems upon myself, and I keep running into impossible obstacles. Corruption, lies, and deceit are the order of the day here. If it wasn't for Eren, the young man who saved my life, I think I'd already have given up long ago. It was Eren who found me dying outside of a Dwemer ruin. If he hadn't brought me here and nursed me back to health, I would have died. When my strength returned and he told me about the problems plaguing Riften, I decided fate brought me here for a reason. So I stayed. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only... The good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? That's the wrong answer. Last thing the Blackbriars need around here is some troublemaker trying to steal a piece of the action. The Blackbriars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy, but it'll cost you. Only way you could have found one of those is by stealing it. Guess you'll fit in around here better than I thought. So what do you want to know? He 
you kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild. So basically, no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the Thieves Guild. Get in good with them and you'll find her. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I work at the But how was I to know the shipment would get dropped? <sighs> yes. As Next usual. time, keep your plans quiet yeah. and nothing will happen to you. day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, lass. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, lass. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. It's all about sizing up your mark, lass. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lass. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strongbox under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. We've been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. Do you want me to hold your hand as well? You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's stall and use your lockpick on the strongbox. Then, when you have the ring, you pickpocket Branche and leave it behind. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. Gather round, all.
pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. You need to hear this. This way, everyone. Over here. Come on, Bridgel. What is it this time? Patience, Branchet. This is a rare opportunity. I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the wisp essence. And it turned out to be crushed nerve. Mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. Lads and lads. Blood elixir. How oh, come? You talking about the snow elves? The one and only. Mystical beings who live in legends and were masters of great magic. Get that then. No one's seen them in years. My sources must remain a secret for their own protection, but I can promise you that the contents are genuine. One sip of the elixir and your wishes will be granted. Great wealth, everlasting life, or perhaps limitless power could be. Time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a waste of time. Damn. I knew I shouldn't have waited. Looks like I chose the looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off Ferris without a hitch. My organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from, if you think you can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. All right, Branchet. Turn out your pockets. We know you have it. Have what? What in blazes are you talking about? Jewelry with Don't play stupid. I said turn out your pockets. Now. I'm telling you, I don't... Wait, what's this ring? This isn't mine. That's right. It isn't yours. You're under arrest, Branchet. This is insane. I didn't steal anything. Buying I never saw this ring before in my entire life. Here. We can do this one of two ways. You can walk up with me to the keep, or I can drag your lifeless body. Your choice. But I... Very well. Lady Maven, how may I help you? Is it true that you refuse to sell one of your trinkets, if I may? Please, my lady. It was only because he threatened me. He said he'd have me thrown in the prison if he wanted to give him what he wanted. I can't afford to just give my jewelry away. Talk to Kirava in the B and Barb. She'll set you right.
Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Well, well. Color me impressed, lass. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Of course you'll get a cut. We take care of our own. Now, if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Get going. He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Talon J at the B and Barb and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. I'll be here when you're done. You'd better have coin to pay for your drinks. There's Come back no later. Here. Stick with me, and he'll never even know you're there. I think Brynjolf could give you all the information you need. Got a lot of nerve. Oh, a bit of this, and a bit of that. don't know you, so we've got nothing to talk about. How about you finish the job Brynjolf gave you? Then we can talk. All right, then. I'm not here to hold your hand. Figure this one out for yourself. I'm busy. Don't you have something to do? Please, don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. You! You have my statue! What are you going to do with it? 
Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Yeah. What's your problem? What do you want? With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Blackmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Every Argonian wedding proposal band is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, represent the couple to be married. One for the husband, one for the wife. The amethyst in the center represents the Hist, the entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? Three, in fact. First is the Velvet Lachance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe, I assure you. Second, we have the White Gold Tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Last, and only for the bravest of souls, we have the Cliff Racer, which is firebrand wine, cyrodelic brandy, Flynn and Sujama. They're vermin. Garbage. They're exactly what makes this city such a horrible place to live. How appropriate they should live in the rat way with the rest of the trash. Disgusting. Ruined sewers filled with goodness knows what. There's an entrance down by the canal, but I'd highly advise you to stay out of there. It's the Thieves' Guild's territory. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Aha! A fellow Nord! I trust you're bringing the fight to the Empire? Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourning. Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. Thank you. 
have it, I'd pay. There's no need to do that. Just pay them, Bercy. If I had it, I'd pay. There's no need to do that. Oh, my word. I can't pay. I can't. This isn't happening. Oh, no. You're the one from Brynjolf's outfit, aren't you? Oh, there's no need for that. I know why you're here. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. Oh, and uh, look, I even have the payment I owed. <laughs> here, take it. I think Bridyov could give you all the information you need. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. What's on your mind? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. <laughs> I think you better listen to Mercer and Brynjol first. We could talk later. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. You play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Let that comment go because you're new here. Ask things out of turn again and we have a problem. Now, are we clear on all of this? Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. 
claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work, so let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Grignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Bex. They know their way around this place. And they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. And out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex, find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Ripton we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar metering which would cut into her profits. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Ripton without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you can spend the rest of the Fourth Era in prison. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. He just plucked you off the street. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Wow, 
long since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Not like that it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. I think there were 24 in all. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. If you're ever in need of some quick coin for items you find on the job, Tenelia is the best fence around. And besides myself, Delvin, Niruin, and Vipper can help you with any sort of training you might need to sharpen your skills. All right, but if you get arrested, don't blame it on me. did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. Are you kidding me? Ever since the guild's luck turned sour, we haven't had a coin to our name. And when the coin dried up, that's when people started to leave. We had the best of everything down here. The Ratway was a damn palace. The only way this place will ever return to its glory days is if we can finish these extra jobs and start the gold flowing again. The Flagon was once a city beneath the city. We had our own smith, our own alchemist, you name it. If we can make a name for ourselves in Skyrim once again, I can almost promise you those merchants would return. Best of all, we'd have enough gold to throw around so we could start living in the lap of luxury again. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. You ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? All right, take this and get out of here. So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Sure, how about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them.
Until next time. All eyes are on you, lass. Don't disappoint us. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. All eyes are on you, lass. Don't disappoint. It's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. It's another to actually use them. All eyes are on you, lass. Don't disappoint us. <laughs>